Hello there, Sir from 17 once again. This is some bad business content. I'm playing the recently added map Soviet Square, and this is from my first session when the game went live with this new map. So I'm going to be running around with the L85, still trying to level it up guys to get that level 52, 25 round mag. I'm at like level 45, it's taken an eternity. I, I've got a lot of kills with this gun, or it feels like it, but it just doesn't seem to matter because once you get past like level 30 when it comes to leveling a gun, it gets a lot slower. Once you get past 40, it's just brutal. And one of the cool things about running around with a kind of slow gun, especially if you're like me and you like to move a lot, and this map here seems to all be about moving a lot because it's very big, but it plays quite close. But you'll notice that I pull my, my Mac out a lot, and it's to give me the mobility that this gun robs me of. And because I've been using a lot of guns that don't have the best mobility and aren't that great up close, like the rifle categories, my Mac has just been feasting. I've been getting a lot of clips and getting a lot of kills with the Mac 10. It's such a fantastic secondary. And it has the, the best mobility in the game for me right now too, because I can move really fast with it, so... It's like the ultimate jack of all trades. But how do I feel about Soviet Square? I, I didn't manage to play this map on the first day. It was in rotation, because I couldn't get on the game, unfortunately. But I played it the second day, and it was really funny, because the first four lobbies I had, where you could vote for it, nobody voted for it. And I got the impression immediately that people don't like it. And later on, looking into it, it's pretty clear that there's a lot of people that don't like this map. And uh, I'm going to tell you that this is a really good map. The problem is the community. This map is big, it's detailed, there is a lot to it, there's a lot of different vantage points, there's a lot to know, there's a lot to peek, there's a lot to understand, and the flow on it is different every time, like any good map. However, the problem lies in that they've given two big buildings at both ends of the map that enable you to go up the stories and sit in the windows and snipe. And if you give cowardly players and a cowardly player base the ability to sit in a building where they spawn and snipe, they're gonna do it. So, depending on who you're facing and depending on the team you're coming up against, you might have a match like this where we're kind of running around and stalking them and finding them in places and seeing what's going on. This should not exist. I don't know why this area exists. There's a few parts of this map where the map designer, I don't know why he did it. Th this is a cool map and I commend him, but there's parts that shouldn't exist. They don't serve a purpose. They just let cowards hide and it kills the flow. But fundamentally, I love this map, I really really like it because there's a lot of interesting play to it and movement is king here. If you know how to move and you know how to rotate and you can move around and, and get some really interesting different unpredictable paths to get onto balconies and to swing around to where their spawn is and flank, you can just absolutely decimate and you can play really quickly. So right now, their spawn is to the right of me, but there's going to be other spawns of course and I can pepper people, kill them and like look how many targets there is. This is a really big map, but it plays so snug because everybody's near this middle building. And as long as you rotate around the middle building, depending on the spawn, you can keep them in a really interesting pinch. And they're just going to be spawning all around me at the end of this road here, and they can go right, they can go left, they can go high, and I'm just going to try and take, take them all on as best as I can. And it can be really fun. And you might watch this and think, wow, this looks great, it never plays like this for me, and that's the problem. Did you see them in the windows then? Like, the amount of times I join lobbies where this is the map, and the entire enemy team is is just like stampeding all around the map and my team is hitting in the spawn and we can't get out and I'm the only person pushing out so I have to kill five and six people in a row and it's just unplayable because if you get put on one of those teams where your team just will not push out and will not hold the center and this is the same for nearly every bad business map if you hold the center or whatever the most trafficked building is you'll win because that's where everything happens. And if you put yourself in the middle there and you resist, you can do a lot of work. And right now, you know, I, I don't know this map too well um, at this point. I've learned it a lot better now, but fundamentally, the, the kind of feeling that I got from it, the intuition that I felt while playing, it was correct. This is a cool map with lots of interesting character, but there's a lot of people that are willing to play it like absolute bitches, and it can ruin your experience. And it's such an interesting map. I've heard a lot of people say they think it's cluttered, and there is a lot of stuff here, but rocket facilities cluttered. This is unique. Like, there's a lot of stuff here, and it's been thought about why it's there and why it's put there to add life to the game and to add flair to the environment, and also to give you something to slide behind and come back into the action. 
There are so many parts of mobility and, and geometry here that they thought about that lead on to other areas and it can lead to some really interesting engagements. And I, I've had a really, really fun time playing it. And the times that I haven't had fun playing it, it wasn't the map's fault. It was people doing the things that we all know that people do. And it, it can be really frustrating. But if you're wanting some tips on what to do on Soviet Square, this is my strategy, guys. Own these two buildings. If you can own these two buildings, you can rotate around them, you'll find where the spawn is, and you can just apply pressure. If you have a capable team, they'll help. If you have a shit team, you'll probably end up in a spawn pushing your way out and having a miserable time. It all depends. But there's, there's a lot of cool details here. And because I had a personal server, I purchased one of the servers for 100 Robux. I, I got this level the night it came out when I couldn't get on the game, but I could you know, afford some time to jump on a private server, and I just ran around. I ran around to see if I could make the jumps and what, like, you know, what mobility I needed to jump to certain places, what was the shortcut to certain places, where were the cheeky trick areas and things like that. I'm in the spawn right now, but look at that. Slide behind that door. I still die because I get acoustic by that dude, but I'm able to adapt really quickly and use the environment because there's so much going on here. Like, I feel like if they went in and they just tweaked some of these back area buildings so that they were plot and nothing to do with gameplay, it would be a lot better. Like, I don't mind this platform I'm on right here. This platform here is fine because you can counter shoot it, you can get up here. There's a lot of things you can do. Like, I, I don't know what he's doing. I didn't even know you could get up there. And then I get aimbotted by somebody on tablet because they don't miss a bullet. But my team seems to be pushing out pretty well. There's still a big cluster behind me, which is frustrating. But I don't know yet that that's how this map plays, so I'm just going to push out. But you see the lights in the building? This is the problem. My team, all behind me in that building. Their team, all over there in that building. And then you've got people in the middle, like this guy who puts me down again. And fair play to him. I love players like that. He's doing it right, in my opinion. He's pushing into middle. He's exploring. He's getting out there. He's trying to get map control for his team. These guys, look at them. Fucking lemmings. And you have to climb the slowest elevator in the history of fucking weird ladders to get up to those people on the roof. Like, there should be one of those cheeky slides that sends you all the way up like there is on the cooling towers in Chernobyl and that side of the cough area on this map. Like, give me a cheeky slide where I can slide all the way up there and fucking shit on all of them. And now I'm in the spawn and these guys aren't even noticing me because bad business players sometimes make... This is the ladder, by the way. I've never been in this room. I didn't even know it was here. That was just bad news. And you thought Area 51 spawns were shit, right? I got spawned on today on Area 51 by five people and I killed four of them. Like, what the fuck, right? Can you imagine facing that many people with spawn protection? I also learned to lesson too, because apparently, spawn protection turns off the moment they fire, right? But it doesn't when they knife. So people can literally use bullshit spawn protection and spam melee and get complete immunity from your gun. That was ridiculous. That's why you don't sit in those buildings when somebody's angry enough to come get you. But this part here, holding this area, this peak, you can peak their entire spawn and you have this free clipping spot. I can't hit a single bullet on that man, he's too good. This is Alex again, isn't it? Yeah, he's using that 1911. That gun hurts like a motherfucker. But like, look at the rotations here. Look at the vantages. There's a guy back in that window as well. I don't know if I saw him when I was playing. That's a guy who just spawns on me. Spawns on me! And should have absolutely killed me, but didn't because I bounced off that wall. I didn't know that that was a slanted wall, and I've learned that. You see, I'm, I'm quite new to the movement in this game because I don't want to use it too much if I can help it. I want to focus on aim. But anything that's curved, if you slide into it, or if you jump into it the right way, you can get a really wicked bounce off it. And it can save your life like it did just then. And that guy's going to do it at the end of this match as well, and I'm going to compliment him in the stream, in the, like, game chat. Look, look at this team, though. They're all rushing forward, expecting no one to be there, and I'm just beaming everybody. Because this middle building is so powerful. And this is, like, the slowest game of kill confirmed ever, but I don't mind, because it enables me to go for 100 kill games. And that's what I'm trying to get, usually. That's the new outfit as well, the little cockroach guy. I don't know about you guys, but everybody I see using that cockroach is a cockroach. Every single person has a playstyle that makes you want to throttle them, so it's the perfect outfit. Anybody in the building can't see him. But I, I really like this map, and I I thought that Bad Business was killing it with momentum too. You know, they, they dropped a new map, then they dropped a new gun, and it was just, oh my gosh, how good is this, right? Back to back, really good updates. And then this Friday comes, I'm all excited for something new, something different, and what do we get? Camos. Camos that look like something you bought in Dubai 
with a second mortgage that it costs you because it's so ridiculously affluent. Like, I understand that some people like to showcase that they, they've put a lot of time into a game, and I know that that's something that people get addicted to doing, going for camouflages, but I just wanted a gun revamp, or a new gun, or a new game mode, or another new map, like, I, I don't care what it was, I wanted something new, and I got a bunch of camouflages I'll never get because I'm never going to get 10,000 kills with every gun. And even if I did, I wouldn't fucking wear it, because it looks like you just put a fruity condom on your gun. And you might notice, guys, in all my videos, I haven't put a single camouflage on my guns. And it's because I like how they look. I like how the guns look in this game. It's this pseudo, Lego, realistic... Watch it, watch this. Boom. I didn't know how to do that, and he taught me something. So shout out to that guy. That was a really good jump. He still lost, because unfortunately, he's fighting me. But he taught me something there, and I now know how to do what he just did. That's some legacy tech right there. Alex is a beast, so GG, dude. You earned my respect that day. And that's the end, right? And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's my thoughts on the new Soviet Square map. It is a lot better than people are giving it credit for, guys. Play it a bit more, understand it, learn how it works. You'll get there, you'll start having fun. And if you're in a shit lobby, you're in a shit lobby.